Um, you know, there was a time when Sundays was okay. was pasta Sunday. Like, but do you remember that? I had Pancake Friday. Yeah. I had pasta, pasta Sunday. Sunday every single week. And pasta, I don't do like I don't do a whole you know meal dedicated to just pasta, just because I don't know. I didn't fall out of love with pasta, but. I just don't eat it as much as I used to. I used to mix pasta with salad, which was always good. Oh my god, pasta with salad is delicious. <laughs> do you re do you remember that when I used to, when I was going through that kick where I would I would literally put like the um, the uh, uh, what the fuck I would make like a BLT pasta salad, which was good a chipotle ranch pasta salad. Maybe I'll do that this week. Pasta salad, yeah. With Maybe I'll do that this week. Actual lettuce and tomatoes yeah. and everything. Yeah. And I used to get so I used to get shit. I used to get shit from people like, how do you mix in hot pasta with salad? It's Why not? Good. You've never had a cold pasta salad before? It's fucking good. Cold pasta salad is badass. But yeah, we got steak tonight. We got grass-fed ribeye steak. Um, I'm probably going to have this again during the week because I got a family pack. And I only, I'm only i only doing one... Um, one of the uh, steaks out of, I think, five of them. Five, yeah, and then I'm doing one as well. <sighs> All right, uh, ready? Yes. Let's go. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll show, I'll show you my steak first. Let's look at this little leak everywhere. Yeah. Why is it dark? Oh, my green beans are good. And I got a big old salad in the background. Steak and potato, that's the kind of night we're having. All right. Now, I pulled this out and she, she was like, ugh. It ruins it, Kagi. No, it does not. It just, makes it taste. It enhances the fucking flavor. Just try to steak. eat. Just try to eat the steak plain. Nope. That's what it looks like. Medium rare in the beginning. In the middle, I should say. Yeah. There's like nothing left in this bottle. Good. Oh no. Hello. Oh no. Uh, knife. Oh, there it goes. Oh, sorry. I didn't get you a knife. That's okay. According to Jamie, I just ruined my steak, but in my book, it made my steak better. No. I'm over that. You want to put mud on your ship? Oh, it's delicious. Fine with me. Absolutely fine with me. Oh, it can be fine with you all once to me. It's going to be freaking amazing. What the hell is going on with... There we go. All right. So, I did a lot today. I did a lot today, but I did not... Um, we bolted a lot today. Yeah, Kaki went on another run. What are you on, like day three? Day one, day, day two. two. Day two of my run. Day two of her running, which is great. And um, I set up our room a bit today, took some more. I forgot to do the cookie uh, the cookie corner uh, video last night. And, and you know what? I, I, I was so excited just to go to sleep so I could get up in the middle of the night. I totally forgot these, but I did it tonight. And I have protein snacks on my table tonight instead of cookies. Our room is so think, cozy. Yeah. Because of Jamie. He made that shit at extra cozy. I did. I did a really good job. He did. It's almost like we're sleeping in a hotel now. That's the vibe I'm going And with. you know what's funny? The kids the kids said that too. She said, like, Isabella was like, it's kind of like we're at a hotel. <laughs> yeah, it's a hotel that, you know... That's mommy and daddy's hotel. <laughs> Stay in your own bed. <laughs> We're still not going to be in. Like, tomorrow will be the real, you know, the, the first night of us actually hanging out in there. And then we'll come down here when it's time to cook dinner and ship. And um, probably like 9 30, 10 o'clock. Yeah. I would say I'm excited that wrestling's on tomorrow night, but truth is, I'm not excited. I do not get excited for her when wrestling's on TV anymore. Well. Is it really wrestling at this point? There's no crowds. It's still wrestling. Mm. What do you, did you try the steak yet? Mm -hmm. What's your impression on grass-fed beef? Tastes the same to you? I feel like it's tougher. You think it's just the cut of the steak? Mm -mm. I, it's good. It's it's definitely good. I mean, I'm gonna be doing. Like I said, I'm probably gonna do steak maybe three times this week. Um, maybe steak sandwiches. I feel like when I have steak, it's not this hard to cut through. No? No. Well, I'll eat the other three, what is it, three slices left? Yeah. Alright. I'll get my hormone-fed steak. <laughs> I I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to try it, see if there's a difference. I mean, I paid 27 Like, I change. can't even, like, cut through it. 
No. I don't eat it, but. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I got mud on me. Oh, don't worry, I'll look it off. <laughs> ah. Just try to cut your steak <laughs> like a normal person. I was trying to cut my steak like a normal person, but <laughs> it doesn't cut like a normal steak. You know what's funny? And I probably will not be loading this video to IG. I, 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 did, I wasn't going to do it last night, but I forgot. Some Yahoo thinks that me and Kaki actually, like we talk like this to each other, but we don't mean the shit that we, we say. A lot of it is a joke. Some of it is serious, but we always use it in a joking manner. Mm -hmm. Trust me, when we get into a fight, if we, me and Kaki got into a real fight on here, she'd probably walk off. And then I would have to make some excuse. Mm -hmm. But if you yeah, don't, right on that. if you can't tell that a couple is just enjoying their dinner, fucking with each other, you're a fucking moron. You're a moron. And I usually don't. Yeah, and I'm not gonna call this jack off out. I'm not. Um, but I just felt like I should say something. Like, if Kaki was pissed off, she there's nothing holds her back to saying what she's going to say. And that is true. <laughs> That's really true. That is true. If I want to say something, I'm going to say it. Last night, we were both fucked up. I don't care what people think. <laughs> no. Neither one. I don't give a fuck what people think. Last night, we were both fucked up. I mean, I didn't feel fucked up at the time, but... And I didn't even watch last night's stream. But... Looking back at clips, like I could see my eyes kind of like when I was talking. It's like I enjoy having a couple of beers, skis, don't get me wrong, but I do not like to get fucked up. And I wasn't like sick, you know, like, oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna throw up, anything like that. Oh no, I never get like that. Oh my god, I'm gonna puke. No, 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 but you get fucked up. I do. Like a a lot. lot, I do. A lot, you're not tonight. You can always tell the difference. I wonder if you could tell the difference. Like, I wonder if you could tell by, like, the first five minutes of a Jamie and Khaki show, like, is Khaki, uh, Khaki's fucking up tonight? Oh, shit, Jamie's actually blitz tonight. <laughs> yeah, I use that word, blitz. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with saying blitz. <laughs> Blitzed. Blitz, like drunk <laughs> buzz. I just didn't realize I was, um... I don't know, and it didn't even hit me. Like, I remember when I first started streaming and Khaki wasn't on camera, but she was always keeping me company. There was a couple nights where, and this is back when I was drinking every single night. There was a couple nights where I drank my freaking Natty Lights a little bit too quick. <laughs> and I couldn't get through the stream. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would I get like, those nights. I would get like hot in the face. And I would like, and I would, I would say, like, oh, I'm getting full, or, like, I would just, sometimes I would power through it. But I'm like, and I then, do I, remember those and days. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it was like, oh. Like, that's a feeling I don't miss. And luckily, I haven't had one in a long time. But I also only drink on the weekends, and it's usually three or four beer skis. It does me in. And all my brothers drink. Oh, not, mm, yeah. Not Chris. Chris has some Heineken's. Yes, Chris doesn't get like drunk. No, but he could. He could. My my, all right, my one brother Chris doesn't drink a lot, but when he does, he'll have Heineken's, and he could pound them back. He could have like. But he doesn't get like drunk drunk. Uh uh And if he does, he's funny. <laughs> he's also a big. I haven't seen Chris drunk in a long time. Yeah, it's been years. Years. I'm trying to think. I want to have a night where no rules, just me and you. Maybe play beer pong. Oh yeah. Have I'm everything. Down. Have everything ready. Beer pong, fucking no, listen to me. combo. Hell yeah. Have everything ready, right? So all we have to do is have our dinner right here. All we have to do is hit record. That'd be fun. Play beer pong. Beer pong. Beer pong. Upload a whole bunch of stories. And then when it's time, just come eat. Just come eat. Not really talk to anybody. Just see what happens. 
<laughs> like, do you think it would be mostly <laughs> bickering? Like, when we're both drunk, do you think most of the time when we're on here, we do most, we mostly argue? <clears throat> it depends what you do beforehand to piss me off. Heck, you're not a fucking saint. I know. I'm just saying. I've, I've already said this on here. I know I'm not easy to live with. Yeah. I've already said that. Yeah, but... Uh, but what but I'm you're not easy to live with either. <laughs> Can you get me this? Can you do this for me? Can yes, you do this is how we started me? last night. Let's not do this again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I already know I'm hard to live with. I know that. You know I, first of all, I'm not a saint, first of all. No. No saint in no way. I know I'm hard to live with. I know I'm a bitch. I know. Nope. I know all of that. Yeah, but I wouldn't say you're hard to live with. I am. I would say you're hard to deal with when you drink too much. When you're when you're a sober caggy, you're fine. I have no issues. I have no complaints. <laughs> like, seriously, what, what do I bitch about you during the day? On a normal day. If you forget something. Um... Like what I said, I really don't want to make your cookies, and you had a temper tantrum. I said, okay, forget about it. No, you didn't. That. You had a temper tantrum. Okay, forget about it. You just fucked up my whole weekend. <laughs> I did say that. Because you're like, I'll make them and tomorrow. And that was me sober. I'll make them tomorrow. I, but I, what, what I meant when I said that was, you didn't fuck up my whole weekend, but <laughs> for me to only enjoy those suckers one day, one day out of the weekend is just not fair. And I knew like I would I said, have extra for only. Sunday night. <laughs> like there I'm are hard. no more. There are no more, right? <laughs> no, I have one cookie sandwich, and that's mine. And those cookie sandwiches are going to be a new thing. Those were probably one of the most enjoyable cookies that I've ever had. I took a bite of that. I put it in the microwave for like seven seconds. For somebody that doesn't like cannoli, yeah. Not a big cannoli fan. Those suckers were badass. Yeah, but it didn't even taste like cannoli cream. That's the thing. I dipped it in a little milk. I made a night out of it. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I made a night out of it. And like... Let's talk about when you told me to take your plate down this morning. That you don't remember telling me about taking your plate down. I got up. I don't. Around like my straw. seven o'clock ish, because my water was empty. Our room was hot. Our daughter had crawled into bed with us. Yeah. She had a bad dream, which is fine. She had a bad dream. She's five. I'm not gonna, you know, scold her for that. She had a bad dream. She was scared. So I get up to refill my water, and then there's Jamie. He goes, "Can you bring my plate and my cup down for me?" Because you're going downstairs. I said, yeah, sure. I'm going downstairs. I'll bring you in the cup. Well, he doesn't remember telling me that. He has no recollection of him telling me that. So I brought it down. Left on the counter. Refilled my water. This is that 7 o'clock you said, right? Yeah. I, okay, so I would have Drank been... most of it. By the time I got upstairs, passed out, went back to sleep. I think I was half asleep. You had to have been happy because, asleep. like, I and Isabel, <laughs> Isabel was already in the bed. Yes. All right. Because Isabel was in the bed by like five o'clock, four thirty-five o'clock. She was in the bed. Because I got up for the midnight snack around four forty-five. Came downstairs, brought everything up, mm -hmm. sat down, ate. The next time I would have gotten up, the sun was out. When the sun's up, it's too late for me to. Like, I, I'm not even craving cookies and, you know, cookies and whatever I have. It's just, you know, it's a timing thing. It has to be dark. It's just, it feels like I'll be eating breakfast if I get up and, when the sun is out and I'll eat cookies. So, I mean, there's a possibility that I did. You but did. But for some reason, I asked Khaki and I woke you up for it. I was getting out of bed. You were getting out of bed? I had to refill my water. No, no, no. When I got up, did I come back down? That's the, that's the, that's the thing. You obviously went back down to <laughs> When I got up this morning, Isabel was like, you have to bring Daddy's cookie plate and his cup downstairs. So you brought it down twice. And then, I didn't know you were awake. And I was like, what are you talking about? I brought it down earlier. And like, why the fuck did you bring my cookie plate downstairs? <laughs> I didn't curse at you. Yes, you did. Did I? 
I must have been half asleep because I don't remember that. You said, that. why the fuck would you bring my cookie plate downstairs? That was you? I thought that was my mom. I thought like, my mom came in. You and told me to. I thought my mom came in. You told me to bring it down. Why are you oh. yelling at me? <laughs> you told me to bring it down. I thought my mom did that. No. Because she didn't want food in the room. That's what you, I was thinking. You told me Always. to bring it down. You told me to bring down your cup and your plate, which I did. And then Isabel's like, don't forget to bring daddy's cup and plate downstairs. Man, I must have been in one fucking And then fucking I'm just like, I did that already. What are you talking about? And then you, <laughs> you were sleeping. You weren't sleeping. <laughs> well, I, I slept in this morning, but not too crazy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you told me to. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Do you guys... Do you, yes, you did. I wouldn't no, have made... I, I would you. not have brought no, no. that shit down unless you I asked believe me you. to. I believe you. What I was going to say was... <laughs> I wonder if... Like, I'm, I'm guessing it's mostly going to be males. Does your husband have a midnight snack? Does he have a midnight snack? Is it traditional? Hmm. Like, Does how mine is? <laughs> or sleep eat sometimes. Well, that's the thing. I remember my midnight snacks. I only remember one last night, but I obviously had two. <laughs> yeah, obviously did because the plate came back upstairs. Miraculously. It's not good. I mean, I know I, I know I only had the cookies. I know I only had the cookies. And you could get that cannoli cream at the time, right? Um, I think so. What other filling is there? Well, normally there's that cannoli cream and there's the cannoli cream with the chocolate chips. They, they didn't have the one with chocolate chips, so I bought the mini chocolate chips to mix into okay. the cannoli cream. Because you can't have cannoli cream without chocolate chips in it. Like, what the hell kind of cream is that? Oh. Mm-mm. I have the chocolate chips. I was going to pick up rainbow chip icing and I forgot. So when I saw your cannoli cream and I saw one of the sandwiches, I'm like, is there enough for me? Is there enough for me? Because the well, last thing I want, here's the thing. When Kagi makes her own dessert, sometimes she'll ask me, this is what I'm doing. Do you want me to do the same thing? And then sometimes she'll just pick shit up and, you know, she'll make it for herself. And that's when I'll take a bite and I'll really want it. Luckily, she got enough. And I saw what she, she was going to be doing. I'm like, I'm going to at least have four of them. Oh, yeah. On top of your homemade cookies. Bar floor. Yeah, and no, like, those cannoli all those sandwiches. Donuts. You didn't even need all your donuts. I had one donut. It wasn't even good. I gave Isabella one of your donuts for dessert tonight. It wasn't even, they weren't even. <laughs> they weren't even good. Well, compared to the cookies, I think that's what it was. <laughs> But you didn't have my cookies on Friday. Yes, I did. Yeah, you did. Yes, I did. I had one donut on Friday, too. I ate the donut walking up the stairs with my plate. Friday night was a very bad, like, my, my midnight snack Friday. It was not very uh, fun to do because I was juggling a big, tall glass of milk, a plate of donuts, a plate of cookies, all in one hand. Plus, I had my pipe. <laughs> Plus, he had his vape pipe. So, and I didn't have my, I didn't have my new table or my chair or the lights. Last night was probably the most. You didn't have the ambiance. Yeah, I didn't have the cookie corner. Let's just call it what it is. It's a cookie corner. Mm -hmm. Next Friday, because we're going to get a couple more things for the room. And uh, I want to get a, I want to get a new comforter. I want our own comforter. Not yeah, that, that comforter is hot as shit. We need something we just, cooler. Like, I saw a white one today. We had a California King. What the fuck is that? There was a King bed and there was a California King bed. Cali what's the difference? California King is bigger. So, it has to say California King on it? <clears throat> there's a King bed and there's a California King bed. I heard you. If I get a comforter, it has to say California King. I would get the California King only so it covers all sides of the bed. But what I'm saying is, do you, does it have to say California King? Is that a yes. legit thing? Okay. Yes. Just kind of like when you wanted to I buy the kids that. sheets. And like, it says a full sheet set. I'm like, yes, a full sheet set for a full bed. We need twin sheet sets. <laughs> for a twin bed. Yes. I think you probably have to order those online though. If I got a regular king size blanket though, that won't fit. It won't cover all sides of that bed. That's a big bed. 
I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. It's a big bed. I'm about ready just to peel that comforter off. Because I feel like that's what makes me hot at night. Kaggy, I just roll it down. I roll it down. And well, it's I sleep on top of it and I use my blanket. I use my sheet. I don't even use a blanket. Mm. And then I rolled over this morning. And there was Isabella. And Isabella was just looking at me like, well, what the heck are you doing? But now I'm wondering if she was in the room when I was doing my midnight snack. And if she did, if she, if she was. She woke me up by crawling across me. <laughs> and what'd she say? She just said, mommy had a bad dream? Or yes, no? she said she had a bad I'm like, what are you doing? Because I had a bad dream. Oh, so she didn't try waking you up? I'm like, okay, lay down. I was too tired to even get up. I'm like, just lay down. It's fine. <laughs> when do you think? I mean, she's five. So I'm not going to sit there and be like, get back to your bed. It's not like it's a freaking 10 or 11 year old kid. No, she's I know. five. I'm not going to yell at her when and do get you back think, to her bed. When do you think, if it happens, do you think Lucas is eventually going to come in our room? No. You just think he's good? Lucas is fine. I'm going to Lucas is absolutely fine. Isabella is fine. She just had a bad dream. Mm -mm. Which most kids do. Most kids have bad dreams. I remember being her age and having bad dreams and like crawling into bed with my mom. Yes. I think it's going to happen again tonight. Like I think it's going to, I think once, the first couple nights. We went two nights without anybody in the bed. So. One, one of these nights we're going to get both of them in there. Ben's well, gonna be if that's a fucking the case, party. I'm going to go sleep in their bed because their bed's comfortable as fuck. Did you lay on their beds? I did, um, I laid on Lucas's tent yesterday. Their beds are so comfortable. I Not like the, the beds that we got from that same place. No, those are horrible. Terrible mattresses. Do you ma we, I bought these beds. Well, this bed for us a couple years back. It was like... A couple years? No, it was more than a couple years. So how long would you say? Um... When Lucas was a baby. Lucas was like a, just a year, over a year old. Yeah. I bought, I bought this bed and it was so uncomfortable and so hard. You the know mattress those, was terrible. You oh know those, God. you know those, uh, no, it was so bad. And our room, our old room was so hot that I went out and bought an air mattress. That wasn't at that time. Mm -mm. Hmm? I bought the comforters first. You bought all the padding and shit okay. for the bed first. That's what it was. And then it got hot. So what I, I bought like, I probably spent like $200, maybe even more, all on padding to make our bed more comfortable. Our bed was and it worked. so fucking hard and stiff, it was not it, even funny. It worked. The only thing is once I got the bed comfortable, then the summer came and our room became very hot. So I went out and bought an air mattress, like a queen or a or whatever it was, I would blow it up every single night. It was a full. It was a full. I would blow it up every single night, and then I would got, and then I went out and bought more <coughs> uh, mattress uh, pads for that one. Plus padding. sheets, padding. Mm -hmm. That was comfortable. It would be me and my dog. <laughs> like the first hour every night. I would be downstairs in the living room. Kaki would be upstairs with Lucas in the bed. That was comfy as fuck. Do you remember how... Mm -hmm. How comfortable I would make that bed look? And then eventually the dogs would pop it. So oh would, yeah, the dogs popped it. So I would have to... <laughs> I would have to yeah. patch it. And it was like the smallest holes. It was never like a big gash. It was a small hole... And it would slowly leak air. So, like, I would go to sleep on a full, you know, uh, blown up mattress. And then I'd wake up around 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. He'd be touching the floor. And I'd be touching the floor. <laughs> and I'd be sunk in. And I wouldn't blow it up. I would just I would just deal with it. I would just deal with it because that the pump was so, was so loud. Yes, it was very loud. So the last thing I would want to do is wake up Lucas because we ha would have to go for a little midnight rides. <clears throat> that was another thing. Lucas used to have like night terrors mm -hmm. where he would wake up like screaming, crying. And like, he wasn't like fully awake, but 
like, he just wake up, like, screaming and crying, but he was, like, half asleep. So, there was nothing that would, like, soothe him or calm him, unless it was, like, a car ride. <laughs> or my mom. Mm-hmm. Not even that. Not my, even that at one point. My mom would come over a couple times and try oh, to... Oh, no, that was when he was an infant. That was different. I think she did it when he was a toddler, too, no? Not at 3 o'clock in the morning. She most certainly did not. Even your brother came out of his room and was just like, what's wrong with him? I'm like, he just wants to stop crying. So we handed him <laughs> to Chris. And he would not stop. And yeah. we drove around in the car. And that worked. The, the, that was, that the, was like the, maybe a three time a week thing. Yeah. It was bad. Well, I remember one time it wasn't that bad because there was like, there was a big boxing fight on. And we would never. Mm-hmm. We would never order the boxing pay-per-views because you never know with that kind of <laughs> shit. And it was like a Mayweather fight. Oh, it was Mayweather and McGregor. No, no, it wasn't. Yes, it, was, it was. No, it was not. Kaki, Mayweather and McGregor was only a couple years ago, if that. I think this was Mayweather and Pacquiao. I think. But anyway, one of our neighbors had this big-ass TV. And they were on a second floor. The blinds were, were open. Blinds were open. We're driving around with a screaming kid in the car. I'm like, oh shit, that's the Mayweather fight. I would go around in circles <laughs> and watch it. And then we once Lucas fell the asleep, fight. once Lucas fell asleep, we parked. We parked and watched it. Do you remember that? That was fucking funny. <laughs> he uh, was finally asleep. And then we parked and watched I just wanted to see who won because. Ah. What the fuck? My fork's like. Where's Jacks when you need them? Yeah, seriously. We had no sound. I gotta clean up my own fucking mess. And this was years back when, like, you didn't have. You had social media, but, like, we were not social media crazy. Like, nowadays, no. any kind of big of event, any kind of big event that's happening, all you have to do is go on social media, and whenever the result or, or whatever, you know, happened, happened already, you could find out pretty much right away. Back then, we were not savvy like that. We no. didn't know. So I'm like, all right, I just want to see who gets his hand raised. I think it was Mayweather. I honestly don't remember. Yeah, I think it was Mayweather. I think I might have dropped you back off. I don't think he waited in the car for mm. the results. I think you did. Ah. Because I was tired. I want to go to sleep. You're right about the steak being... Bob also eating big slices. <clears throat> well, I wasn't cutting big slices. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try cutting it in half. I will take my steak that is fed hormones any day of the week. Oh, that's Peggy. It's not a bad steak. It was tough. It is tough. It was tough. I don't know if that's because of its grass, grass fed. I mean, I, we, listen, we're not educated on this. I just, I, you know, I wanted to see. I've never had a tough steak like that before. I'm sure you had some shitty damn steaks, Kat. No. You don't fucking, you know where. I have never cooked a tough steak like that before. You've never bought a shitty steak? No. Okay. Every, every steak that I have cooked you, was it tough like that? No, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you. You never yes, had a bad... Yes, no, I've never had... I've never cooked myself a terrible steak. Things that I have bought. Yes, I've eaten terrible steak. I'm not going to say this is terrible. I'm just... You said tough. It is tough. It was tough. It wasn't bad tasting. It tasted good, but it was just tough. I hurt my damn fucked up tooth. Yeah, and you still didn't even do a fucking... You didn't even do make another appointment yet, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. I was waiting, <laughs> waiting out the coronavirus. But. Ain't happening. <laughs> ain't, okay, no, ain't nothing, nothing changing anytime soon. I'm gonna give. Well, this, I guess I'm fucked. I'm gonna rate this a seven. This meal. I'm gonna rate it about a four. My favorite. Steak, my four. favorite part is the potatoes, and the salad combined. <laughs> I don't think I said Potatoes and the green bean were... I don't, the steak flavor was good, but the texture was eh. It's a steak dinner, Gaggy. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Except move on. I'm planning on doing some kind of... Some kind of... 
sandwich tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do chicken. I feel like I went on the grilled chicken kick. And now it's like, unless I put, actually that could be a good idea. Cheddar barbecue sauce. A bacon cheddar burger? Bacon no. cheddar chicken? No. Maybe. Maybe. I go Could on these good. kicks where you'll see white bread and yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, white bread. You'll see it like, you know, two times a week, three times a week, and then you don't see it for a while. You notice when I find something, I like to stick with it. And then, but I feel like it gets boring. No, it's not boring. I just want to try to make a different video. I don't want to say like, oh, Jamie, that's the dude that eats sandwiches every single night. Now, I will say this. I am a different person when I have something I can hold. Something in my hands with carbs. Rather than, that's mine. It's been sitting there for a while. <laughs> I've been looking at it. You know what I mean? Like bread <laughs> or... I'm just much more happier. I, I, I don't like to do the work with the knife and the fork. I'd rather just pick the shit up. Pick it up and it eat it. Up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I've been wanting to do steak and potatoes just like in a bowl mixed with gravy for like the last, I don't want to say like six days. And rice. Rice and gravy is one of my favorites too. Oh, I love rice and gravy. Beef gravy. It has to be beef gravy yeah. with rice. Like just straight up rice. Some kind of steak with gravy in a bowl mixed in. Like when I used to do the chuck steak that fried. The fried chuck steak. Yeah. <clears throat> like you pound it out, you, you flour it, and you fry it. Oh, and the chuck rice. Chuck steak, it was cold. it's called something else. It, it was chuck steak. Cube steak. Mm -hmm. Cube steak. Cube steak. Like you pound that shit out, you flour it. We should do cube steak this week. And then you Fry it in a pan. Oh my god, so good. We should do cube With steak rice, this week. And then gravy over the rice. <clears throat> and corn. <laughs> That's how you eat it. Corn. Corn, yeah. the most useless vegetable on the planet. Corn. Is it true corn makes you poop though? No, That's corn, you can't said. digest corn. That's why it goes out the same way it comes someone in. Said you know, corn it comes out you. the same way it goes in. Someone said corn makes you poop. Corn does not make you poop. Unless you're intolerant to corn. You have to be intolerant to something for it to make you poop. I don't know, but I think corn um, is delicious. It might not have any, like, you know. Oh, I love you... corn. Corn on the cob. I Roasted remember... corn. I'm trying to think who it was that told me. And I was having a, I was having a talk about, you know, vegetables. He's like, I eat a lot of corn. I'm like... Corn doesn't, I don't think corn it has, has no nutritional yeah. value. He's like, yeah, but it helps you poop. I think he said something about arson. Arson? That's somebody setting shit on fire. All right, maybe I'm getting two different conversations. <laughs> That's arson. That means somebody set somebody's place on fire. <laughs> I might be thinking about two conversations Arsenic? that I have. Yeah, maybe that was. That was with rice. They say white rice has arsenic in it. And arsenic makes you poop. Arsenic is poison. Oh, so maybe I'm getting this, <laughs> this, this made this this uh, conversation mixed up. I remember the arsenic thing with the white rice. Oh my god, don't eat white rice because it has arsenic. Well, how much white rice do you have to eat to have to be poisoned by arsenic? There are people that eat like pounds of rice for like. Thank food. you, and nobody's died yet no. over eating white rice. So. I was like a what huge thing say? like back uh, back a few years. That was like, I don't know, like maybe like eight, nine years ago. Don't eat white rice. It has arsenic in it. Well, I was going to say, what do you think is, what, what do you enjoy, you know, more? White rice <clears throat> or mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes. Like these are two side dishes that you mashed could go. potatoes all the way. With a nice steak and gravy. Mm -hmm. What do you want on your side? Rice, white rice and gravy. Or mashed potatoes and gravy. You're going mashed with potatoes mashed potatoes. And gravy. It depends though what the meat is though. Steak, I just said it. Well I What mean, kind of steak though? If it's cube steak, I want rice. If it's like T bone steak, I want potatoes. I would never eat a steak with rice. 
Yeah. Uh, so you know, a nice porterhouse steak with some rice. What Got about potatoes? What happens if you go to a steak and you spend whatever twenty, thirty dollars on a steak, and it's like tough? It sucks. Do you return it and say something, hmm. or do you eat it? What do you do? Fancy New York City restaurant, okay? And it's tough. Yeah, I would return it. If you're at like a business meeting or a first date. Or a first date, do you actually return it? Um, yeah, because I'm not going to sit there chomping on my steak when I could be talking to my date. Trying to chew your, your food while well, trying to like get to know somebody. I guess, I'm just saying like... What would you do? You would just eat it? it? Yeah, if it was me, if I was taking, on, if I was taking someone out... And it was the first date. I don't want to be that that dude. Like his fucking steak sucks. I'm gonna complain. I would probably just say, "Okay, this steak is not very good. I don't think I'm gonna eat it. Eat my sides. Maybe ask for some bread. And then be polite and say, can I get a carrot out to go container?'" But then your date would look at you like, "Oh, he ate his veggies and his and his starches." Yeah. He left his protein behind. Yeah, and I would, I, well, I would, I would tell her. <laughs> and then going outside, if we're in New York City, no chances are you're going to see a homeless man. I but you paid for it. And if you're not happy with it, why would you eat it? I would take it, wrap it, and give it to a homeless man. Because then you get that, oh, what a sweet guy. <laughs> it's a win-win. Now you're going back to your place if you're going to fool around. You know, oh my god. You got that going for you, and you're not going to feel extra full. And then you're going to feel obligated to have to like, offer him food, because you know damn well he's going to be fucking hungry. Because he didn't eat most of his dinner, he gave it to a homeless man. Yeah, you go back to your place, or his place, or her, you know, have some wine. To make a night out of it. Maybe, if, if you're a real romantic, girl's like, fuck this, let's get some McDonald's. <laughs> Then go have a party. I'm gonna eat some McNuggets off of you. <laughs> McDonald's at three o'clock in the morning. After having some drinks, I mean it's usually best when you by yourself. But I'll still, I'll still. I mean, if I was going on a date, like I'm gonna lick the ranch out of your belly button. Ew! <laughs> you just gotta take it to a whole nasty level. I can't do McDonald's ranch by itself. <laughs> I just can't do it. I had to. <laughs> I had to do it. I never ever made a, like a, a sexual joke. Did I ever even take you out to McDonald's when we first started Hell doing? Hell no. What was some of the restaurants? Taco out? Bell. <laughs> no, that was when we were like together for a couple, at least a couple months. Yeah, I'm like we me. did a lot of we did Quiznos a lot. Yeah. We did. <laughs> We did a. I know. I think the diner is the first place we went out to eat together. Yeah, it was a diner. I don't remember which one though. What, it wasn't the one out by you, your old place, with Kristen. That was not the first time that we went to a it. diner. No. All right, so let's try to think. What was our first date? But yes, Do you we, remember that, our first date. Our first date, yes. There's it was question. a wrestling show. Besides that, what was the first time I took you out? And where'd we go? Let's see how good your memory is. The first time? Mm -hmm. I wanted you to come to Lizardland and you couldn't. And then <clears throat> I didn't know what exit it was off of Sunrise. That's right. But that's not me taking you out. You were going to be, put it this way, if I couldn't make it, Kathy would have been there drinking and singing by herself. No, I would not have been. I would have been Christian. We would have been fine. You know what I mean, <laughs> though. You would have been out there anyway. Because you know why? Oh, the first do you want to know? Do you want to know you. why? Because you sat there and made me wait. Uh, let's go to a movie. Okay, I'll call you. You never called me. It's now nine thirty, ten o'clock at night. Still didn't call me. I call up Chris. I'm like, let's go to Liz's lounge. I'm like, that call didn't come in. <laughs> let's go to Liz's lounge. Let's go have a good night. 
You called me as I was on my way to Lizardland. And I just came. Yeah. And we had a good time. Uh, and you're like, what do you mean we're supposed to go to a movie? No, I just say it like that. You're like, oh, we're supposed to go to a movie. I'm like, yeah, you're supposed to call me like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> and what did I say? I don't remember this. Mm hmm. I'm like, you were supposed to call me like an hour and a half ago. I was like, I wasn't going to sit there and wait my whole night away. I'm like, all right. And I'm like, you, you can me. come. I was like, you can come if you want. I'm like, we're going here. <laughs> and then I fell in love with that place. That was a cool place. It was a fucking awesome place. That was an awesome place. Cool. Many memories of Jimmy and Kaki were made in that bar. I don't think you understand when we say that. We were there every single night. Like, that was our, our go-to spot. Most people go to a place like once, twice a week. No, we were there like seven. There was many times where we were there seven times a week. Right? We were. <clears throat> we were. It was a great place. This juice is not good with the liquid IV. It tastes different. Of course not. <laughs> All right, we're going to bed. Of course it's not going to be good. That liquid IV is disgusting. We will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Have a good night, guys. And now, delete video. Delete. No need to post oh, that. Good night, guys.